Here we're going to be looking at admission of a new partner into a partnership. And for example, we're going to be looking at revaluation of assets to determine if there's any goodwill here. And we're going to be using the goodwill method here. So when admitting a new partner into a partnership, there usually involves number one here, revaluation of assets, and number two, goodwill recognition. Either the existing partners or the new partner would receive the goodwill here, depending on the value of the partnership and how much the uh, new partner had paid here. And it is a two-step process here. So let's go down and look at our example here. We have existing partners, partner A here and partner B, and they have a total capital balance of $150,000. And then their profit loss ratio here is split 50-50. Partner A would get 50% here, partner B would get 50% here. Now we have this new partner C and they're going to invest $20,000 and for an interest here in capital of 20% here and an interest in profits here of 20% here. So going over to our diagram here, uh, partner C's capital interest is going to be 20% here and their profit interest is going to be 20% here. So let's go down and do our two-step process here. So step one, that is to recognize uh, the write-down of the existing partnership assets. It either could be written down or written up, but for our example here, there's going to be a write-down in our existing net partnership assets here. And for our example here, we're going to have revalued our assets here uh, reduce them by $22,000 here. So the book value of our existing partner uh, was $150,000 here that we had that amount. Now we revalued or we had to write down our assets to their fair value here for $22,000. So uh, the net amount here, $150,000 less than $22,000, gives our fair value here of our revalued assets at $128,000. And that it equals the uh, capital balance here for the partner A and partner B here after the revaluation here. So let's go back here and look at how we would record this here. So we'd have to record it on the uh, partnership accounting records here where we have an asset write down here where partner A, their capital account would be reduced by $11,000 and capital B, their capital account would be reduced by $11,000. And then the assets here would be credited for $22,000 here. The capital accounts were debited or reduced in this case here. So how do we calculate the $11,000 asset write down that was allocated here to each of the uh, partner A and partner B amounts here? So that was allocated based on the previous partners or their old profit and loss ratios that we had here of 50%. That was in the original partnership. So uh, uh, partner A got 50% of the $22,000 a revaluation or the write down here for $11,000 and then partner B got 50% of the $22,000 here for $11,000 of the write down of the assets here. So that was split 50-50 here. So let's go down and let's, our next step here would be step two where we have to determine a new partner's goodwill and in this case the new partner would have is going to receive more than they, than they paid here. They're going to receive 32000 and they're going to have paid only $20,000. So let's go look at our calculations here. We start out with the fair value of our uh, the original or existing partners here that we uh, re calculated here after the um, revaluation of the assets, $128,000. You take the re fair value here that was revalued to $128,000. And then the next thing we have to do is we have to uh, determine the total implied fair value of the partnership here. So let's go down here. So we'll take the existing partner's capital. It would be an 80% interest here after the new partner enters into the partnership. The new partner is going to get 20%, so that leaves 80% here for the existing partner's uh, capital account. So we take the $128,000, that's the revalued uh, amount here of capital for the um, existing partners. That was after the revaluation of the assets here, and divide that by 80% in this case. So we get $160,000, which would be the fair value of the partnership up here. So we go up to our calculations again. We have our total implied fair value here of the partnership of $160,000 here. And then the fair value 
here of our revalued uh, capital or assets here, 128,000. The difference here gives us $32,000 here. And that would be going to partner C being admitted into the partnership. So that would include both their investment plus the goodwill here. And that partner C would be getting $32,000 here. So let's just go down and look at our, our new partner C's calculations here. So our new partner C should have paid uh, well, in this case, the the total implied fair value was 160,000. The revalued uh, amount here for the uh, existing partners was 128,000. So the difference would be $32,000. They should have paid $32,000 to enter into this partnership, but they only paid $20,000. So. Um, there's goodwill involved here. They receive more than what they've paid here. So let's just go down here. In this case, the goodwill is traceable to the new partner here. Again, the $32,000 that they received less the $20,000 that they paid, and that would be for $12,000 here. That would be the goodwill calculation here. So going up to our calculation here, C, they would have made an investment here of $20,000 plus they received uh, $12,000 worth of goodwill, so they're given $32,000 here. So let's go look at how we'd record Partner C's investment here. Um, the assets would be debited or increased for $20,000 for the partnership here, and then the goodwill here would be increased or debited for $12,000. And then uh, Partner C's capital account here would have been credited or increased here for $32,000 here. So just to review here this uh, um, process that we use here, the first step we had to go in and in this case we had to revalue our assets here and we determined that there was a, they were worth, or their fair value was worth less than their book value. So we had to subtract that from the existing partner's capital amount here to determine the fair value of the capital for the um, new uh, the existing partnership here and then we took that existing partnership fair capital here and then we had to determine the total implied fair value of the partnership which we did here at uh, uh, 100, $160,000 taking the fair value of the original partners here $128,000 and dividing that by 80% since that this represents 80% of the fair value of the partnership here. So then we were able to determine the um, partner C's investment in goodwill here of $32,000 and then we could break that down between the amount that they paid and then the amount of goodwill that they're receiving here. So that is our two-step process here in determining admission of a new partner into a partnership where you first have to reevaluate the um, assets and then after taking the revaluation of the assets, you can determine the implied fair value of the partnership and then determine if there's any goodwill that would be going to either the existing partner or the new partner.